liked. Um, I'll say. I guess all the time we spent looking for the right RV was worth it. Mm. I know that we agreed that a travel trailer is for us, but some of these motorhomes sure look sleek. Yeah, but then we end up towing a car. We talked about this. If we're going to tow, let's tow a trailer. I know, but all the trailers we've looked at so far are too big to pull with our Jeep. Oh, and I like our little Jeep. Geez, I can just see us in these pictures, huh? Look at that. Out in the country lake next to us. The grandchildren coming out for weekends. Hey, why don't we take in this RV show this afternoon? I don't know. Come on, hon. We've got to keep looking. Okay, I'll get my purse. something, isn't she? This is just one of the many models of travel trailer built from the ground up right here at ABI's manufacturing facility in Dunville, Ontario. The award is the most aerodynamic trailer built in North America. Unlike traditional box-like trailers, the award's exterior styling is the result of extensive wind tunnel testing. Testing designed to reduce wind resistance and drag while improving towability and fuel economy. For starters, the smooth, easy care fiberglass side walls are low, the front cap is angled like the windshield of a car, and the front skirt below the belt line sweeps back at a similar angle. The windshield is double glazed, cast acrylic glass with an integral rock guard shaped to maintain the integrity of the nose cone. The roof is steeply peaked in the center, which, apart from giving it a distinctive look, improves the aerodynamics with an added benefit being excellent water runoff. If you look at the front of the award, it sweeps back in all four directions. Most of the air travels over the top, while some goes underneath. When these patterns meet at the back, they create what's called a slipstream effect. The wind also slips around the sides, creating a smaller vacuum area than conventional box trailers. The smaller the vacuum, the less the drag and trailer sway. This aerodynamic styling is designed with today's smaller, fuel-efficient cars in mind. So you can tow your award with almost any six-cylinder minivan, V8 car, and even some six-cylinder cars. Trailer Life recently wrote, the award feels very solid and secure. We were impressed with the overall quality of materials and construction technique. Any design is only as good as the people and resources behind it, and ABI has the best. From the backing of Hanmar Motor Corporation, manufacturer of the Home and Park van, to the skill and experience of their production personnel. 
Not only are award trailers aerodynamic, they're engineered for towability from the ground up. ABI enjoys a well-earned reputation for producing top quality products. And today, we'd like to take you through the factory for a fascinating look at how these trailers are crafted with meticulous attention to detail. Producing the best travel trailer is not simple. It takes a precise manufacturing process and skilled personnel following rigid standards that ABI insists on every step of the way. ABI tries to keep as much of the manufacturing of parts in-house as possible so they can maintain high quality and prompt delivery. The first step is the raw material. ABI uses only the very best, number one grade, kiln-dried hardwood. You may like the look of knots in your rec room, but there's no place for them on an award. Knots reduce the strength of the wood. This is a computerized cutting list, which indicates the exact size of every single wooden component used in the trailer's construction. This guarantees complete uniformity in all trailers. The wood is cut into what are called sticks. ABI uses 41 different sized sticks, whereas the industry average is only about six. The sticks, paneling, walls, and floors are pre-cut in such a way that allows them to interlock with each other like this. It's similar to the construction of a log cabin and results in dramatically increased strength. Once cutting is completed, all the pieces are bundled and wrapped and labeled to indicate which department they're going to. So the entire manufacturing process begins right here. Then all departments are fed the required precision cut sticks and wood. Let's follow these sticks and see what the next step is. The tag on this bundle says the laminating department. Here they lay down a sheet of pre-cut marine grade plywood. This will be the underbelly of the trailer. All the sticks are placed around the perimeter and in all other areas requiring extra strength and support. Foam is then cut and fit into the gaps snugly. Then comes a layer of wood and the vinyl flooring. A coating of special lamination glue is put on between each of these layers. The walls go through the same process as the floors, only the inside layer is paneling and the outside layer is fiberglass backed with hardwood. Now the whole process comes together. This is a vacuum pump and what it's doing is sucking out all the air. Every last molecule through the portholes at eight pounds per square inch, which means on this 30 foot floor, there's over 200,000 pounds of pressure while the glue is curing. This assures you of a solid foundation and endless years of enjoyment. Before leaving here, all the framed hole openings in the floor and walls are sealed to protect against weather elements. Once the floor has set, it's brought here to the floor assembly area. No, your TV is okay. The floor is upside down. It's much easier to work on that way. Here in assembly, they bolt on the steel chassis but not before it's been dipped galvanized to rust proof it. It's also been hole punched and flanged, a proven engineering process serving two purposes, makes it lighter and stronger. You'll notice the deepest part of the chassis is the center and it tapers off towards the front and back to maintain the central balance. Once the chassis is securely bolted in place, the jacks, wheels, spare tire, holding tanks and other elements are mounted. I'd like to show you just a few of the construction methods that are unique to ABI. You'll notice the holding tanks are balanced. The reason for this is that as the freshwater level goes down, the waste tanks fill up pretty much equally, ensuring that the trailer's center of balance is maintained for consistent towability. Later on, most of the major appliances will also be centrally placed to further ensure balance. Award trailers ride on Alco Cobra's patented hexagonal rubber suspension axles. What does that mean? The movement of this torsion arm allows each wheel to move independently over uneven road surfaces. This increases tire to road contact, 
resulting in dramatically improved trailer stability and towing performance. There are also ALCO telescoping stabilizer jacks on all four corners of the chassis, assuring your award secure footing in the campground. Of course, the jacks are also galvanized for easy care. These are the tank valves. They're brought through the lightning holes in the chassis so they won't get damaged on rough campground roads or while driving. While the floor is assembled, the cabinets are also being put together over here. In the jig shop, sticks are glued and stapled to the paneling, creating flat cabinet frames. The panels are jointed on two sides and cut to exact size for a proper fit on the other two sides. What we have now is flat surfaces with wood perimeters that can be screwed into. From here on, everything is screwed together, not glued or stapled. It gives you a stronger and more durable cabinet. Since the award isn't square, wherever the cabinets meet the roof, the edges are routered to the shape of the trailer. The fit is so snug, in fact, they don't need trim to cover gaps or edges. So what we have seen up to now is a complex, precise production method. A lightweight construction is achieved by using high quality wood cut into small interlocking pieces. Then with the main fastener being screws, greater strength is achieved. Now we have fully assembled walls, floors and cabinets. The cabinets are screwed and riveted to the walls. You'll notice the walls and floor have an extended lip on the edge. When the trailer is assembled, these lips allow a stud to stud construction. All the side walls fit into the floor. The back and front walls fit into the side walls and the roof rests snugly in the side walls. You will also notice that not only have the cabinets been screwed onto the walls, but now rest firmly on the floor and are later screwed into the roof for added strength. What you've got around the whole perimeter is stud to stud construction held together by two to three inch wood screws at 11 inch intervals. Now that's a lot of strength. This is where the roof is put together. The roof is built in a truss style with a peak in the middle. But the way the sticks are angled means that the more weight you place on it, the stronger it becomes. Once assembled, the roof is set into the walls and screwed on stud to stud. Now all the wiring goes in. You can see here that the air conditioning unit is double studded with a steel strap secured to ensure strength. Also note the strength of the blocking for the TV antenna. You can't see it, but this is all wired for your TV in the bedroom or living room. High quality pipe wrap insulation is fitted tightly at this stage. This stuff is expensive, but the high R factor makes the cost worthwhile. Now the roof metal is stretched into place. The top seam is overlapped and triple sealed with a polybutyl sealant which won't dry out like putty tape. The edge of the roof metal also overlaps the outside walls. With the shape of the roof, you have automatic water runoff. It's ABI's interlocking and overlapping process that gives their trailers tremendous strength. In addition, it makes it virtually impossible for any leakage to occur. While the trailer is being assembled, there are many other components being made offline right here at ABI's facility. This is the fiberglass shop. In here, they make the nose cone, fender skirts, hitch cover, and rear light panels. ABI chose fiberglass for the sidewall and nose cone for its strength and ability to withstand the abuse from gravel, stones, and hail that will cause dents in aluminum. All wiring harnesses and plumbing pipes are assembled on site. The fiberglass is buffed and polished, and the carpeting is pre-cut. Then the sewing department makes soft goods, like the cushions and curtains, etc. In addition, a large inventory of mattresses, couches and appliances are kept on site for all models and colors. As you've seen by touring the plant, a lightweight trailer is not built simply by taking heavy things out. High quality material, enhanced technology and structural integrity have to be engineered back in. Before this trailer leaves the factory, everything is rigorously tested and checked for fit, finish, and quality control. Included are a number of pressure, flood, 
and dielectric tests. In the design of the manufacturing process, quality control has been enforced every step of the way. However, this final check assures you years of trouble-free traveling. The award has a lot of exterior features that you haven't seen yet, so let's take a quick look at some of them. Steel belt radial tires, independent suspension, exterior luggage doors, protective body side molding, silicone sealant around all windows, vents, and molding, hitch and door side patio lights, fiberglass hitch cover for a sleeker look, end caps on external body moldings, convenient slide-out battery tray, low-profile air conditioner, which is standard on the Classic Series. All exterior openings structurally supported with wood framing. GFI protected patio and bath receptacles. Easy access to enclosed propane tanks. Sailor radius corner door with flush mount handle, deadbolt lock, and sturdy screen door. Also, every screw on the outside of the award is stainless steel. That means they won't rust. And something I've noticed is with a smooth surface like this, think how easy it'll be to wash and wax. Now let's go and have a look inside. This is the living room. Some of the many standard features are this comfortable sofa which converts into a bed, deep pile carpeting and under padding, AM FM stereo cassette, color coordinated curtains, upholstery and carpets. This unique folding table telescopes up to dining level or down to coffee table height. Moving on to the galley, there's a four burner range oven and this microwave is optional but available in all models. There's a big fridge and freezer that will operate on gas, electricity, or 12 volt. Over here are twin stainless steel sinks with covers, which will give you extra counter space. The heavier appliances, as I mentioned before, are centrally located for proper balance. All appliances are top brand names, backed up by national service centers if you ever need it. These cabinets are some of the finest in the industry. The solid oak door and drawer fronts add a nice touch of warmth and luxury. Before we leave the kitchen, I want to show you something about the storage space. All the wiring, pipes, and heating ducts are placed so that they don't interfere with the storage, but are still easily accessible for service. The bathroom features a large vanity with shelves, step tub with shower, marine style toilet, medicine cabinet, mirror utility shelf and a power roof vent. All the mirrors have a vinyl backing for safety. As in the kitchen, here's your access to wiring and plumbing. Before we get to the bedroom, have a look at all the extra closet and storage space. The Classic 30 even has this floor to ceiling pull out pantry. At the trailing end of the award, a privacy accordion door leads to the bedroom, which features your choice of twin, double, or bunk beds. There's deep pile carpeting, rich wall paneling, color-coordinated drapes and blinds, and lots more closet and storage space here, here, and here. While the inside of an award follows a planned color theme, each room has a different decor for easy living. Some of the standard safety features in the award are a smoke alarm, fire extinguisher, and even a gas leak detector. Almost everything you've seen so far is available on any award model. But standard in the Classic Series are air conditioning, TV antenna, spare tire, electronic ignition hot water heater, a choice of three color schemes, and more than 20 other standard features. Well, now you've seen the award trailer from top to bottom, inside and out. But the best way to experience the shape of things to come 
is with a test tow and a demonstration. Because how it tows is the bottom line. Trailer Life tested the award and reported that the unique profile of the Classic 23 allowed the trailer to slice through the air without the wind resistance of traditional trailers. Overall, handling was great. All award models are structurally identical. You choose the floor plan, options, and comfort level you want. So stop by an authorized award dealer. They can show you the 23 and 30 foot models in the Classic and 700 series. That video sure sold me. Yeah, I could see you reaching for your wallet. But our salesman wanted to be so sure that it was exactly what we wanted. And that's a switch. It was a test drive that sold me. It towed so beautifully. So, do you think we did the right thing, honey? Absolutely. We've had such a good time so far. The weekend at the tennis camp. And the fishing up on the lake. Oh, and the autumn leaves we saw in Vermont. Not to mention all the bicycling and the hiking this summer. Mike, how about going on a western tour this summer? I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. And Big Sur. Hey, let's take the grandkids this time. They'd love this trip. We can show them the Sequoia Forest. And Monument Valley. Isn't that the place they shot Stagecoach with John Wayne? 